Hello, my name is Wu Lin Yang. I'm a senior PhD student from Dr. Bruce Logan's group here at Pennsylvania State University. Today, I will introduce a new way of making active carbon air cathode for microbial fuel cells using a phase inversion method. Uh, this new phase inversion cathode is the first cathode to be fabricated in a single step by forming the catalyst layer and diffusion layer at the same time. It is also currently the cheapest cathode and has shown great promise for scale-up applications. So first, let's take a look at the materials uh, and the equipment we need to use to make the active carbon air cathodes. So the first one is uh, the petri dish filled with deionized water. And the second one is um, the 50 by 50 stainless steel mesh as a current character. And also we need uh, actually carbon powder and also carbon black powder. In this case we use 10% uh, PVDF solution as the binder. Here is a table showing the chemicals and the manufacturers. So the first step is to mix the PVDF solution with the active carbon and carbon black mixture. So we use a pipette to get out of one milliliter of the PVDF solution. And then fill the solution into the uh, beaker. The solvent is a bit toxic, so remember to cap the bottle after you take out the solution. Then uh, use the pipette to mix the carbon powder with the PVDF solution. Then the second step is to uh, spread the uh, active carbon, carbon black PVDF mixture onto the stainless steel mesh. Here we use a uh, spoon to uh, quicken this process. It may take 30 seconds to uh, one minute to finish this process. Um, and it depends on how fast you can do it. But um, do not exceed um, two minutes to finish the process. The key point is to um, smooth the surface, which uh, totally determines how waterproof your cathode will be. After spreading the active carbon mixture onto the uh, stainless steel mesh, the next step is to put the active carbon cathodes into the DI water bath to go through phase inversion process. Remember to put the active carbon mixture side towards the bottom. And then leave the active carbon air cathode for 15 minutes. Then we uh, take out the uh, cathodes and then put leave uh, the cathode in the fume cool and uh, air dry for over eight hours. After eight hours, the uh, cathode is already dry and uh, we can use it in our MFCs. And remember to put the stainless steel side towards your solution. And uh, thanks for watching.